A spiritual psalter, Sandy from the Syrian, Psalm 50. O God, have mercy on me. According to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, wipe out my transgression. But if you will have mercy on me, and liberate me from the disgraceful afflictions of the passions, if you will just have mercy on me, then I will voluntarily obey your grace. If you do this by the greatness of your kind-heartedness, then you will save me. If you pour out on me your goodness, I will be saved. I know that you can do this. I know that you have forgiven me, and you will forgive all who return to you with all their strength. I acknowledge that I have enjoyed your grace many times thus far, but each time I have neglected your grace and sinned as no one else has sinned. But you, who have resurrected the dead, lift me up also who am deadened by sin. You, who have restored sight to the blind and illuminated the cloudy eyes of my heart, you who have saved Adam from the mouth of the serpent, pull me from the mud of my transgressions, because I also belong to your sheep, even though I have become food for lions by my own free will. My sins have turned me into a dog, but I am healed by your grace. I will become your son. I will cast out as a corpse, but if you will it, then I will be brought back to life. I know I have sinned willingly, but I have your saints to intercede for me. I know that I surpass every degree with my sins, but your kindness cannot be surpassed. You who has favored the tax collector, favor me as well, who realize that I have committed many more horrendous works than him. O oh Lord, you had mercy on Zacchaeus, who was unworthy. So also have mercy on me, who am unworthy as well. Paul was once a wolf and pursued the sheep of your flock, but by your grace he became a pastor who earnestly cared for his sheep. I know that his sin was done in ignorance, and that he was granted forgiveness of his sins, and much grace on account of his ignorance. O Lord, punish my sin, committed in full knowledge, and have mercy upon me, according to the multitude of your grace.